Hi guys, guys and non-binary pals. Welcome back to another character analysis video featuring the Drip God Nouvellet, Chief Justice of the Court of Fontaine. This man is the latest addition to the Hydro DPS arsenal with a unique style of play centered around a cannon. But it's released in a couple of days. Let's have a look at my latest main and latest main DPS character. Nublet. Nublet is a hydro catalyst character who mainly damages enemies by unleashing a torrent of water, blasting enemies in a small area in front of him. His skills produce source water droplets, which reduce the charging time needed for him to blast again. He excels with varying team comps as his passives and style of play is complemented by plenty of available characters in the game. First, let's have a look at his talent priority. Since his main damage source comes from his charge attack, naturally, the focus would be on his NA. Empowerment, Legal Evaluation, Equitable Judgment. Next would be his burst. O Tide I have returned. As it is his second highest source of damage, and you would weave his ultimate for faster charging of his charge attack as it produces six source water droplets. And last would be his skill, O Tears I Shall Repay which does decent damage and generates source water droplets but it has a high CD of 12 seconds garnering the least amount of utility and damage among the three talents in terms of DPS and source water droplets generation as it only generates three. Now let's have a look at his ideal artifacts. First we have the 4-piece Marshall's Hunter which increases the wearer's normal and charge attacks by 15%. While well, the 4-piece effect increases the various crit rate by 12% for 5 seconds, amounting to 3 stacks in total when the HP increases or decreases. This max out at 36% crit rate. It is by far the best set on hand as it reduces crit searching fatigue due to obscene artifacts. Second place would be interchangeable between 4-piece Heart of Depth and 2-piece HP 2-piece Hydro. Both seem to have similar results per calculations from the good fellows at r slash Nubilet mains. However, I will do testing upon the release of this character to confirm these suspicions as well. Link is in the description for the raw numbers on that. For 4-piece Heart of Depth, you first gain 15% Hydro Damage bonus and after using an elemental skill, normal and charge attack damage is increased by 30% for 15 seconds. This is a pretty good alternative but requires elemental skill usage. It has a theoretical 100% uptime for Nouvellet as Nouvellet's skill is 12 seconds in cooldown but it might cost some time in the rotation so personally having a free Crit and CA buffer from Merchant Hunter is much more stable, hence why this is second pick. While 2-piece HP and 2-piece Hydro have the same effect minus here and there some value from the charge attack, but other than that, it's more versatile to obtain better substats using the 2-piece 2-piece, but if you are able to get 4-piece, I would say go for that. Let's have a look at stat distribution. Crit damage is very ideal if you're running Marshall's Hunter. However, if not, you would need a good balance between crit rate and crit damage. Somewhere around 70% crit rate would be ideal for those without MH. Those who have MH can have crit rate as low as 40%. As if you take into influence the crit rate obtained by Marshall's Hunter, you would get around 76% crit rate at 40% crit rate with the passive active. Tertiary would be HP percent as it affects his whole kit and sustain and survivability. And last would be energy recharge as part of his sustain and his recharge for his charge attack comes from his burst. So having it available as soon as possible aside from the cooldown would be ideal. His material requires some new exploration with the Fontema Unihorn material coming from a new boss in a new part of the Fontaine map amounting to 46 drops in total for max ascension. Next will be 18 drops from APEP, specifically the Ever Amber drop. Next will be a regional specific material which is the Lumi Toil, a starfish shaped object that can be found near the leafy region. Next we look at his talent materials totaling to 9 green, 63 blues and 114 purple drops respectively of the equity talent. 
Next would be the Aberrant drops for Fontaine, needing 36 greens, 76 blues, and 129 purple drops in total. Last would be the Ascension Stone for Hydro characters, needing 1 green, 9 blues, 9 purples, and 6 amber drops in total, as always. As a short summary, Nouvellet, much like his new materials, is currently shrouded in a veil of water, per se. What we do know is his style of play is very unique. He is a new character, so he can definitely, definitely dish out a lot of damage. And you'll see why in the next section. So let's move on to weapons. So first, we of course have to look at a limited character's signature. So his signature weapon is Tome of Eternal Flow. Brandishing 542 attack and 88.2% crit damage. That's just something about Hydro characters and these numbers. I tell you 88.2% crit damage. The only other example of this, if I remember correctly, would be Yelan's Aqua Simulacra, who also happens to be another very good Hydro DPS. The user further gains 16% HP and their charge attack damage is increased by 14% for 4 seconds. If the user gains or loses HP, this triggers every 0.3 seconds, up to a max of 42%. So you get 3 stacks, that's absolutely disgusting and it wouldn't take very long for Nouvellet to actually reach max damage. If you run a good rotation, you'll definitely be able to hit that very easily. When the user achieves all 3 stacks on this passive, they further gain 8% energy. Wow, I mean, even getting an alt cash back for your troubles. Needless to say, this weapon is very disgusting, providing insane damage boost to its entire kit. The monster crit damage values, everything is so overwhelming. However, if you have my luck and would like an alternative, a close direct one-to-one -one would be Kagura's Verity. But if you don't have that either, let's look at some other alternatives. So we have a premium alternative over here in Lost Prayer to the Sacred Winds, which provides 608 attack and 33.1 crit rate. Increase the user's move speed by 10% and gain a stackable elemental damage bonus buff of 8% up to 4 stacks every 4 seconds, totaling to a max of 32%. The move speed bonus is a plus for kiting purposes and it does provide very good buff and max stats but definitely pales in comparison to the signature or KV as it does provide crit rate which can clash with the Marshall's Hunter set. So if you are free to play and you might not have enough fools but you still want to play Nouvellet, here is a weapon for you. I would recommend the Witsit. Providing some good crit damage buff, totaling to 55.1%, you also get a good buff in 48% elemental damage bonus. However, unfortunately, two of them are negligible to Nouvellet's direct kit. It's very good solely due to the crit damage alone, but if you want more consistent alternatives, there's a craftable weapon called the Prototype Amber, which can work well, but it lacks crit. Or if you want a premium example, you can go for the Battle Pass weapon, the Sacrificial Jade. That is definitely a solid alternative. Share your thoughts in the comments and if you reach this point, do drop a like and subscribe. I genuinely appreciate it. Next, we're going to be looking at his skills. So let's tackle this line by line, okay? So first, let's look at his normal attack. So most of you would be familiar with this as with the content leaks. However, if you're not sure, let's run through it. So his charge attack is known as Empowerment Legal Evaluation, which gathers the power of water forming a seal of arbitration, which takes a small period of time to charge. However, source water droppers decrease the charge time needed. Once fully charged, he unleashes a torrent of water in front of him dealing AOE hydro damage in a straight line. This lasts for 3 seconds and consumes a portion of his max HP, capping at 50% max HP. His damage is no joke but he is prone to interruption. So have a shielder on hand or invest in his E1 for more resistance to crowd control. Helps a ton in Abyss. Next will be his elemental skill, O Tears I Shall Repay, which summons a raging waterfall dealing AoE Hydro damage based on Nouvellet's max HP. This attack generates 3 source water droplets if it hits opponents. This skill also bears his arcade Numa, dropping a spirit breath thorn on enemies dealing Numa aligned hydro damage. 
following that will be his ult old tides i have returned deals massive aoe hydro damage based on nubilat's max hp after a short interval drop two more waterfalls dealing hydro damage in a smaller aoe and generate six source water droplets this combined with his skill usage could make his charge attack have a relatively smooth charge in the middle of battle so use and time them wisely next we're going to be looking at the passive skills so his first passive skill is Heir to the Ancient Sea's Authority. Any Hydro Elemental reaction results in a stack of past Draconic Glories, PDG. Each reaction results in an independent stack. For example, Electro Charge 1 stack, Vaporize 1 stack, and Hydro Crystallize 1 stack. Each stack lasts for 30 seconds. Each stack it also increases your Empowerment, Legal Evaluation, Charge Attack Damage by 110, 125, and 160% respectively a pretty disgusting buff available for a myriad of reactions maybe a double hydro geo electro team or rainbow team will be able to get a max advantage of this buff depending on the abyss enemies his next passive skill is discipline of the supreme arbitration each one percent of novelette's current hp greater than 30 percent he gains 0.6 hydro damage bonus capping at 30 percent hydro damage bonus gained this way so make sure a healer is set up in the team to reap the max benefits from this passive. His environmental passive is Gather Light the Tide. Gain 15% sprint speed underwater. This is a non-stackable passive, so choose your exploration team wisely. Definitely having him in the team will make Fontaine exploration a lot easier. Next is my VIP Vector's favorite section. Constellations. Shout out to Vector from my Twitch. Respect your buddy for the support. Be a Twitch VIP today just by watching. If you're not sure how to get to my Twitch, check the link in the description. First is his C1, Venerable Institution. He immediately gains one set of past Draconic Glories when on field. Novelette also gains Interruption Resistance while channeling his Charge Attack. This is definitely a strong C1, gaining an easier time dropping DPS while the Interruption Rest is a nice touch. Next will be his C2 Juridical Exhortation, where his PDG stacks now gain crit damage as well, with 14% crit damage per stack amounting to a total of 42% additional crit damage. Absolutely amazing. Why does this character spike so hard with constellations? I can't understand. My poor wallet. His C3 is Ancient Pros. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, Ancient Postulation which increases his normal attack by 3 levels, maxing out at level 15, which I feel is the most valuable increase together with C1 and C2. As a small investor, I would probably stop here. Crown of Commiseration is his C4. When Nuvillette receives heal on field, he generates one source water droplet. This has a cooldown of 4 seconds. This adds a little speed up to his charge attack charge time, reduction over the course of a long battle. His C5, Axiomatic Judgment which increases his already impressive ultimate by 3 levels, gaining even more damage with the level cap being 15. And finally, C6, Wrathful Recompense. The Source Water Droplet pickup AoE is increased slightly. Each Source Water Droplet extends the duration of his charge attack by 1 second. When equitable judgment hits an opponent, it will fire 2 additional torrents every 2 seconds, dealing 10% of Novelette's max HP as Hydro Damage. These torrents count as damage dealt by equitable judgment. The additional torrents on top of the constant uptime on this skill make it a very, very satisfying C6. It definitely seems pretty strong in theory and I can't wait to test it out on stream. I'll be testing it out Wednesday evening GMT plus 8. As always, to end on a fun note, let's look at some potential team comps for a new black. So finally got emotes. Yay, it looks much better. First is Shielded Hyper Blue. Featuring two Archons in Zhongli and Nahida, with Kuki as the Electro Reaction Generator and Healer. Nuvela will be free to drop constant damage with Zhongli shields, preventing interruptions. This team also has guaranteed 3 stacks of PDG. Second would be Thundering Seagrass, featuring Kokomi as the Premier Healer, with Fischl as a Particle Generator and Electro Applicator, and Baiju for heals and shields to get Nuvela up and running. The double hydro passive gives him a slight boost in HP, which also overall benefits the members' survivability. Next is Condensation to save a nation. Featuring the King of Misfortune, Bennett, 
as the select healer with his common pair Xiangling for vape application, as well as Zhongli for the standard rash threat interruption prevention. This is a more textbook team comp, which can be easily adapted by most players. Last but not least is Rainforest. <laughs> I'm sorry, London. With a double hydro, double dendro team starring Nahida as a buffer slash dendro applicator, Baiju and Kokomi for healing and utility to basically cause constant bloom reactions with Baiju's dendro shield, keeping Nuvelet safe from those constant bombardments. I would like to say thanks so much for reaching this point everyone. It means a lot that you took the time to watch the entire video. I hope that if you intend to get Nuvelet, you get him with an early pity as well as manifest his weapon for you. Don't forget to share your pool counts in the comments slash my discord. I really appreciate it if you take the time to do that. Take care everyone and have a good week. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And if you didn't, feel free to unsub and dislike. It helps me improve. Take care and if you like the infographics in, in the video, check out my discord. Link is in the description as always. Peace.